Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Championship Predictions. There's a few results in this previous weekend that didn't quite go to plan for some clubs. Same as every week I really think about it. Um, guys, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. They sell my merch, the link for my merch is down in the description below. So guys, feel free to have a look after watching this video. Um, but anyway guys, you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Fulham versus Middlesbrough. Fulham beating Hull 1-0 away from home. Um, great three points for Fulham. Um, Middlesbrough joined with Derby County 2-2. Two -two. Uh, I still think that's a great point for Middlesbrough, considering where they started the season and where they are now. Um, Middlesbrough have not lost a game in their last five. Fulham won throughout the last five, drawing one and losing the other. Um, going forward with this game, I think it's going to be quite an entertaining game. Um, Fulham are just itching have a scrap of their teeth. Three points the gap is now um, between uh, Fulham and Swansea. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'm going to go for a bit of a surprise and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Middlesbrough win. My next one is Queen's Park Rangers versus Leeds United. Um, Leeds United losing 2-0 at home to Sheffield Wednesday. Um, you know, that is very much off the cuff. Um, you know, uh, Leeds losing to Sheffield Wednesday at home as well. Um, QPR loses 3-1 away to Brentford. Um, that gap's getting tighter between Leeds and Brentford. Um, seven points a gap. Um, so basically two wins, one draw. Um, or three wins, three losses for Leeds. And they can find themselves outside the automatic um, promotion place. Um, this game is going to be quite an interesting one. Uh, QPR have only won one of their last five. Leeds have only done the same, which one I go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Birmingham City versus Cardiff. Cardiff drawing 0 0 at home to Swansea. Um, with, with that, um, South Wales Derby and um, Birmingham beating Luton Town 2 1 away from home. And Birmingham have got a 50 50 share of their ground of the next round of the FA Cup tie, which is against Coventry. And um, that game's going to be quite interesting. I'm guessing Birmingham's got the away dress room as well, considering they've got the away tie, if you know what I mean. Um, Cardiff, you know, just that you mentioned them drawing 0 0. In the South Wales Derby, um, Cardiff are one of them teams that I think really have let themselves down this season. And um, you know, coming back down from the Premier League and you know all that stuff. It's I think they really have let themselves down this season. And um, Birmingham in the 18, putting one out of their last five. Cardiff basically doing the same thing, one out of the last, winning one game out of their last five. Um, but as far as this one goes, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Birmingham City win. My next one is Bristol City versus Barnsley. Um, Barnsley beating Huddersfield 2-0 at home. Great result for Barnsley there. Um, Bristol City beating Wigan Athletic 2-0 away from home. Um, Barnsley are literally a point away from safety um, at this present time. Um, Bristol City, 41 points, a point out of the power places as it currently stands. Um, I'm going to call a bit of a shock to this one, and I'm going to go for a 1-0 Barnsley win. My next one is Derby versus Hull City. Um, Derby, 2-2 away to Middlesbrough. Um, Hull losing at home. 1-0 to Fulham. Um, Derby are another disappointing team for me this season. Might not be for you. You're the real fans. Please feel free how you feel down in the comments below. 
But Derby have been really disappointing for me this season, considering last season they were just one game away from the Premier League. And they lost to... Uh, I can't remember you... Uh, who did they lose to? Um, anyway, you know, take the heights of last season of Derby, and they really are disappointing me this season, down in 17th place. Hull are in 11th. Both teams got very similar records. Derby's at home, so I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Huddersfield versus Brentford. Brentford beating QPR 3-1 at home. Huddersfield is a 2-1 away to Barnsley. Um, Huddersfield, you know, I've lost their last two games. Um, Brentford, sitting up in third, as I mentioned earlier in this video, winning throughout the last five and um, so I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brentford win. My next one is Millwall versus Reading. Uh, Reading drawing 1-1 um, at home to Nottingham Forest. Great point for Reading there, I do believe. Um, Millwall drawing 0-0 away to Stoke. Bit of a disappointing day if you're a Millwall fan. Please be free how you how you feel down below in the comments. Um, going forward with this game, Millwall have only won two out of the last five. Um, Reading, you know, and lost in their last five, so I'm, I'm going to go for a 1-0 Reading win. My next one is Preston North End versus Charlton. Um, Preston North End drawing 1-1 away to Blackburn. Um, very disappointed, um, but I probably wouldn't be because of you know how well Blackburn have been doing this season. And but anyway, Charlton drawing two two at home to West Bromwich Albion. Great point for Charlton. Um, this game is going to be a good game going forward. Preston North End in tenth, Charlton in nineteenth. Preston have not won a game in their last five, so I'm going to go for another 1-0 Charlton win. My next one is Sheffield Wednesday versus Blackburn. Um, Sheffield Wednesday beating Leeds 2-0 away from home. Great three points for uh, Sheffield Wednesday there. Blackburn drawing at home with Preston North End 1-1. One, one. Um, this game, I think, is going to be quite a good game as well. Um, you've got Sheffield, uh, Sheffield Wednesday um, in sixth, and you've got Blackburn in 13th. Blackburn not won in their last five. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday won two in their last five. Considering they're going to be on a high for that Leeds game, I'm going to go for a 2 0 Sheffield Wednesday win. My next one is Swansea versus Wigan. Um, Swansea drawing 0-0 away to Cardiff in that South Wales derby. Um, I watched that game and the derbies are really, really can't grab you anymore because of the um, all the safety that's been brought into the game. Um, you know, I do like. The old derbies, and if you're old, old enough as what I am, you understand what I mean. Um, we're going to losing two 0 at at home to Bristol City. Um, this game we're going are two points out of safety. Um, Swansea are sitting in seventh, draw one points with uh, Sheffield Wednesday are in sixth. Just goal difference that uh, separates them. But I'm going to go for a two. One Swansea win. My next one is Nottingham Forest versus Luton Town. Luton Town losing 2 1 away, I'm um, sorry, at home to um, Birmingham. Um, Luton, I'm really finding, I really find it hard to summon them up this uh, season. Um, Nottingham Forest draw 1 1 away to Reading. Um, I'm only going to see this game go one way, uh, just look at the table anyway, 
Um, you got Forest who's in fifth, and you got Luton all the way down the bottom of the table. I'm gonna go for a three-one Nottingham Forest win. My last one for this weekend is West Brom and Albion versus Stoke City. Um, West Brom and Albion drawing two-two away to Charlton. I that's a disappointing day for West Brom there, if I'm all honest, and if I was a West Brom fan. Um, Stoke drawing nil-nil at home to uh, Millwall. I can only see this game going one way. And I'm going to go for a 3 1 West Bromwich Albion win for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat fun. Hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.